Greetings in the mighty name of King Yeshua HaMashiach. I am using the new video camera that a most precious brother in Christ sent me today. And I want to thank him so very, very much again for blessing me with this new camera and for blessing this ministry, God's ministry, Jehovah God Almighty, for this is his ministry that he allows me to work in. Bless you, my friend, in the mighty name of King Yeshua HaMashiach. So, I do hope that everyone had a great Thanksgiving and that many thanks was given to our Jehovah God who supplies our every need every day before we even know we need it. He is the God of all goodness. He is ever so faithful and you can rely and you can depend on him anytime you need him for he is there for you. He is always there. Reach into your heart. There he is. He's always there waiting for you to commune with him, waiting for you to praise him waiting for you to thank him waiting for you to glorify his holy and precious name glory be to his holy and mighty and perfect name glory be to our beautiful God Jehovah Elohim in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach glory be to his name this evening I will be um, in Psalm 69 and I will be giving a word from Papa Yahweh from 25 November late that was late in the night uh, at 12 24 a.m. so it was 25 November when I received it so okay Psalm 69 save me O God for the waters are come in unto my soul I sink in deep mire where there is no standing I am come into deep waters where the floods overflow me I am weary of my crying my throat is dried Mine eyes fail while I wait for my God. They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of mine head. They that would destroy me, being mine enemies, wrongfully are mighty. Then I restored that which I took not away. O God, thou knowest my foolishness, and my sins are not hid from thee. Let not them that wait on thee, O Lord God of hosts, be ashamed for my sake. Let not those that seek thee be confounded for my sake, O God of Israel. Because for thy sake I have borne reproach, shame hath covered my face. I am become a stranger unto my brethren, and an alien unto my mother's children. For the zeal of thine house hath eaten me up, and the reproaches of them that reproached thee are fallen upon me. When I wept and chastened my soul with fasting, that was to my reproach. I made sackcloth also my garment, and I became a proverb to them. They that sit in the gate speak against me, and I was the song of the drunkards. But as for me, my prayer is unto thee, O Lord, in an acceptable time. O God, in the multitude of thy mercy, hear me, in the truth of thy salvation. Deliver me out of the mire, and let me not sink let me be delivered from them that hate me and out of the deep waters 
Let not the water flood overflow me, neither let the deep swallow me up, and let not the pit shut her mouth upon me. Hear me, O Lord, for thy loving kindness is good. Turn unto me according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, and hide not thy face from thy servant, for I am in trouble. Hear me speedily. Draw nigh unto my soul, and redeem it. Deliver me because of mine enemies. Thou hast known my reproach, and my shame, and my dishonor. Mine adversaries are all before thee. Reproach hath broken my heart, and I am full of heaviness. And I looked for some to take pity, but there was none, and for comforters, but I found none. They gave me also gall for my meat, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let their table become a snare before them, and that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. Let their eyes be darkened, that they see not, and make their loins continually to shake. Pour out thine indignation upon them, and let thy wrathful anger take hold of them. Let their habitation be desolate, and let none dwell in their tents. For they persecute him whom thou hast smitten, and they talk to the grief of those whom thou hast wounded. Add iniquity unto their iniquity, and let them not come unto thy righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living, and not be written with the righteous. But I am poor and sorrowful. Let thy salvation, O God, set me up on high. I will praise the name of God with a song, and will magnify him with thanksgiving. This also shall please the Lord better than an ox or bullock that hath horns and hoofs. The humble shall see this and be glad, and your heart shall live that seek God. For the Lord heareth the poor and despiseth not his prisoners. Let the heaven and earth praise him, the seas and everything that move, moveth therein. For God will save Zion and will build the cities of Judah that they may dwell there and have it in possession. The seed also of his servants shall inherit it, and they that love his name shall dwell therein. Let us praise our wonderful and mighty God. Our mighty God, Jehovah Elohim, my Haya, how I love thee, how I worship thee. Thank you, Father for your beautiful and Holy Spirit. And thank you for your beautiful and Holy Son, your Son that died for the world's sins, your Son that you raised up on the third day. Thank you for your most precious gift, your only begotten Son. I love you so much. I bow down to you, my precious Father Yahweh. I bow down to you. And I am in complete submission to you. For I love you. And I will follow you to the ends of the earth. And I know you will be with me. You are my hiding place and you are my refuge and I love you so 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 very much I love you more so much more than words could ever say I praise you and I glorify your holy name hallelujah to my mighty God Thank you for being my God. I love you. I love you. I love you. In the mighty name of King Yeshua, Hamashiach. Amen and amen. Okay, I received this word. As I said, 25 November 2015 at 1224 a.m. My beautiful daughter of Zion, write Father Yahweh Elohim's words for all to hear and see. 
As this time is quickly going by, let me remind you, O oh America, who birthed you. You were set as a sanctuary for my people. Hold on one moment. Let me put my dog outside with my husband. I'll be right back. All right, I am back, and I'm so sorry for that. You were set as a sanctuary for my people. You were born with my laws and commandments on your heart. I have blessed you tremendously, America, but you have dealt treacherously with me, Jehovah Adonai. I cannot bear to hear your blaspheming voices anymore. You have allowed the enemy in all of your cracks and crevices, and now he has completely invaded you. For you have not me any more, my mighty hand upon you, in enriching your crops and giving you the land of milk and honey any more. I will curse your land, and it will be of thorns and sand spurs that bite at your feet and drain your souls into the muck and mire that you have polluted yourselves with my people. I'm sorry, that you have polluted yourselves with my people. Do you know why Obama is your president? For he is evil as Pharaoh was evil. You do not see it as of yet, but he will reveal himself as Satan's helper. Oh yes, my children, this once mighty nation has Antichrist as your president. Was this not allowed by Jehovah God Almighty? Is this not what the evil and stiff-necked people want in this land? You have allowed every false god in this country, which are abominations to me, and your acts will be recompensed to you justly and righteously by Jehovah God Almighty. America, your days of blessings by me are over. Father Yahweh Elohim Eternal Almighty power has spoken. And let me find my numbers, my numbers verse for you. And if I can't find it quickly, I'll just, it's number six, just for you to note if you like. <clears throat> number six verses. Twenty, yeah, 24 through 27. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Baruch Hashem Adonai.